do this every day. So like, I'm like, I'm like a, a kid right now, dude. Successfully flash tuning, reprogramming, and otherwise altering this control unit to increase power output will be next to impossible. Next to impossible. Next to impossible. Impossible. <laughs> We're at Byron Dragway right now. We're out here just kind of filming a secret thing with HP tuners. Figured it'd be fun just to bring my camera while I'm out here and shooting with them. And I just give you guys a fun experience of what we're doing. I'm gonna make some drag passes, but uh, I'll show you this, like the little behind the scenes of what it's gonna look like. You kind of see a couple little puddles right there from, from water at some point in time. So there's your burnout box, technically. But on a street tire car, usually going to go around the water. The race car, EB and station, it'll come around and a lot of times it'll back into here. If it's got slicks on it, you're always going to want to do a burnout. If it's a street tire car, you don't really want water in the grooves of the tires. So a lot of times you won't do a burnout. We'll do a dry burnout with a street tire car. You kind of see, you asked me about spraying and glue and prep and no prep and blah, blah, blah. So if you look, you see a line right there. That's clearly where they have heavy sprayed that. That's where they started. Uh -huh. I don't know if that was today, yesterday, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's so, pretty sticky. Yeah. So coming up here though, I guess, you know, me, me not being in the drag race yeah. world, like, where, how do you know where you're wanting where to start? Is? Yeah. Well, luckily for here today, there's been zero cars go down the track. So there's not really a groove. So we're gonna make our own groove when we start. Gotcha. Okay. So wherever, like say you go first, I yeah. probably wanna be in that groove. Then. You wanna, you, we wanna try to go on top of the same place every time. Okay. Ideally in the middle of the racetrack. Let's do a pass like this, see what it's Perfect. like. Get them done and uh, see what it is. Okay. So we're, uh, so we're about to make the first pass. It has an LT4 supercharged motor, so it'll be, you know, it's, it's gonna move pretty good. Dude, this is a V6 over here. It's all wheel drive. I think it's like something like almost 400 horsepower. This one, and then we're gonna move to the twin turbo C8, um, which the, I'm most excited to drive that one because obviously it's got you know the most power. So they are uh, getting all the cars ready. Now it's time to have fun. We're gonna make some passes right now. <laughs> oh man, we had a gangster sitting in here. <laughs> okay, there's gonna be a camera operator in the center of the field. It's gonna be in, right off off the this side on the left side. All right. Take the trash control button right there, the left one, hold it down, and then take your mode selector, which is the round knob, hit it to the right twice. Am I manual shifting this? No. Okay. Nope. Once you do the burnout, back up, pull forward, stage. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, boys. All right, so this is going to be the first time I've ever driven a C8. I feel like I'm in like a, a spaceship. This is actually my first twin turbo car I've ever driven as well. You ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah! I'm there, bro. Woohoo! That's like a drug. Yeah, right? Man, I am shocked. I am shocked right now. I, I can't even believe that you could just go buy a car, do you know a, a few turbos, a few little things, and fully tune it, and it does that. Oh my gosh. Should we go again, probably? What's up? Should we probably go again for safety? Go ahead. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. This is unbelievable. I'm not a drag racer. I'm I think I am here. now, though. <laughs> I just want to take this bad boy home. I cannot believe how fast that is. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain to you guys how awesome of a feeling that was. Like zero to 122 mile an hour. That felt good. I've never drag racing like that in my life. So really? like for me, like that's like, oh yeah, you know, I could do that all day. I would rather not even stop. <laughs> I'm in the V6 all wheel drive. This is about 360 horsepower. I'm actually pretty dang impressed with this little car. I mean, being a V6 all-wheel drive for a factory car, just being tuned with HP tuners, I mean, this thing, this thing rips. Like, this is a fast little car. Global B is GM's kind of classification for encryption. And HP tuners, we've kind of been able to get into those vehicles. So we've got a Cadillac CT5 Blackwing, a Cadillac CT5 V, and we've got a C8 twin turbo Corvette. For years, people have been coming to us and other tuners and saying, I want you to tune my stuff. And the reality is, you haven't been able to, at least not to this level, and we're finally there. People are finally gonna be able to add performance parts and tune them properly. But also, besides tuning, data logging, diagnostics, it's making the most power efficiently and safely out of your vehicle. Tuning is big, just like, obviously, the C10, you know, to make like that truck work, we couldn't have made it work without HP tuners. and. It's a very, you know, awesome program to be able to go through and just tune the vehicle how you want it. So you could do, you know, passes, whether you're on a, you know, a racetrack, you could data log it. Or if like today we're going to be on a dragway, we'll be able to kind of like get the numbers out of the cars. I have an important question for you. What's Are that? you sold on turbos now instead of superchargers? Oh, dude, I, I, I am impressed. I'm impressed. That's Bill Twin Turbo. I'm impressed, honestly. <laughs> we are at Blackhawk. Farms Raceway, very popular racetrack here in Illinois. Let me go hop in a car and just drive around and show you guys what the track kind of looks like. And then we're just gonna kind of start our day. And in any time I'm at a track that's having a good time like this is, is definitely, definitely a, a goal for me. And uh, traveling kind of around the world, uh, hit different tracks like this is, is pretty cool to be able to experience. All right, I'm gonna take you guys on the actual Blackhawk Farms track and kind of show you uh, what it's like. It, seems to be like a really uh long track so we'll have some some good high speed stuff you can see there's there's some braking markers off to our left here there is a, a hairpin coming up that i'll show you guys that uh like you could tell look at the textures of the track like you can see some skid marks in areas that's from people sliding off the track uh but up at this hairpin um at least looking at it on on like an overhead view all you see is skid marks so We'll go up here right now and and that means it's just it's a very tight corner and people are pushing pretty hard into the corner there's skid marks everywhere <laughs> so i'd say this is almost like a 90 degree corner and then it kind of goes into a little chicane chris what is the whole goal today i mean you want to kind of touch on all the global b everything everything that's happening yeah so we've got three vehicles we've got a cadillac ct5 v a ct5 v blackwing and a twin turbocharged C8 Stingray Corvette. There's tens, if not hundreds of thousands of these vehicles out there with these ECUs that are Global B that they haven't been able to tune them properly until now. Yeah, so anyone that's had, you know, these vehicles like, like the C8 and things like that, you couldn't just, you know, I mean, obviously they're fast from factory, but if you're wanting to like throw, you know, turbos or, you know, go into the computer and, and tune it to make it faster, you, up to this point have not been able to and so that's what's cool with uh, what christopher is talking about is is yeah i mean now now they can full on go basically make it all dialed in everyone for some reason here thinks i'm a road racer but i'm not <laughs> even chris is like oh today's your day but it is it is closer to what i do yeah i was gonna um, say short course stuff probably converts more to this than drag racing 100 percent, 100 percent. i mean this is definitely more uh my my uh my style we're on like the middle part of the track just i think we're doing some interviews and stuff like that and then we're gonna go uh hop in the cars 
Is this the part where you got Brad coming in and losing it and flying into the tires? <laughs> and we all get to watch. Put him down now. <laughs> Please do that. All right, are we driving now? It's weird that I don't know. Wait, wait, oh, hold on. You, wait, you don't you're go. You're that guy. Hold on, hold on. You don't now you got to see what I was going to do first. I see what you've done here. Wait, I have yeah, scissors yeah. too. <laughs> Should have known. Okay, where'd you pick it? The van, huh? Yeah, I'll take the van. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm in the ambulance. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> now it's about to get fun. That's what I'm excited about. We're gonna get you in these cars to start. You guys are gonna do two laps and then come back to grid, and then we're gonna set up for some camera car stuff. So it's basically getting you guys just accustomed with the track, nothing too wild. This is gonna be the first ever test drive on this track. Temps are okay. Only 199. Hopefully we're gonna be all right here. Just like most things, I uh, I was driving the car for like three straight laps, and I think I got a little hot. She's smoking. I had to pull off. Uh, but man, that was that was fun. You know, being out here on this track. It's a larger track, but it's a fun track. I did notice, I am so used to driving cars like this, not rear engine, and the amount of push that the Corvettes have is uh, is pretty, I mean, it's a large push. I just, I found out that I had to do a lot more straight line braking, get the car rotated, and then fall through the corner. But, but yeah, it definitely had uh, a lot of push. But man, that was fun. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, nothing crazy that we did. We just were out here having a good time at Blackhawk Farms. Definitely a cool day with HP Tuners. Uh, thank you guys for having me out here. You know, it is impressive what that Corvette could do and the CT5 uh, Black Blackwing. I mean, that, it's it's gnarly how fast these cars are. But you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Is that how you do it? Yes, that was perfect, actually. Right. You have officially ticked the talk. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> oh, we've stolen his SD card? Yeah. Hi, my name is Brad the Birdie. Well, the Asian taller version of Brad the Birdie. I build six-wheel Hot Wheels cars and random Toyota drift trucks. Uh, you may have seen me and my father, Douglas. Now make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe to my candy channel in the van here. Hi, I'm Brad DeBerti. I like to steal things and shit, what was my line? I like to steal <laughs> uh, what else do I need to say about being Brad DeBerti? I'm Brad DeBerti. I don't know which direction to drive and I like to steal people's jackets. He, I also struggle to pronounce anything with more than two syllables. I need a script for everything in life from reading to talking to breathing to blinking. Uh, that's a new base requirement for being Brad DeBerti.